Governor, I, I want to say this book is uh, absolutely fantastic. I think it's uh, just a, a guide to how to deal with, with, with this pandemic. But, but let me ask you this. Um, there has been uh, a lot of confusion about an alleged March 25th order that uh, directed nursing homes to accept in New York infected COVID patients, possibly leading to the death of more than 6,000 seniors. Now, you say in your book that that was a lie, that New York State never demanded or directed that any nursing home accept a COVID-positive patient. Um, the Department of Justice, however, is now supposedly looking into this issue. Can you explain what really happened? Yeah. What a shock that the Department of Injustice uh, sends a letter a few days before an election trying to advance a political theory. Uh, I was shocked and amazed that the Trump administration was capable of such a thing. Uh, Sonny, they have played politics uh, on this from day one, right? Uh, they have done a terrible job on COVID from day one, and they want a counter defense. And what they were saying was, uh, well, a lot of people died in nursing homes in Democratic states. It's not just New York. It's all the Democratic states. And the truth is, a lot of people did die in nursing homes in Democratic states. The truth is, people are dying today in nursing homes in Republican states. It's just that Democratic states had uh, uh, the, the disease worse and earlier. Uh, and older people are more vulnerable to COVID, right? We were introduced to COVID in the state of Washington in a nursing home. Uh, if you look at how many people died in New York uh, nursing homes, New York is number 46 out of 50 states in the percentage of deaths in nursing homes. Uh, the way the law works is no nursing home in New York can accept a patient if they don't believe they can care for that patient uh, adequately and if they can do it within the, within the safety of their uh, facility. So uh, the conspiracy they're trying to, to spread just it has no factual basis. Uh, but yes, people in nursing homes died and they're playing politics with the issue, which I think is especially cruel. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> so in a taped interview back in April, Jared Kushner told Bob Woodward that Trump was, quote, getting the country back from the doctors. Yeah. Uh, basically, he's admitting that Trump has no interest in listening to the scientists or the doctors. Now, why do you think that Trump is so threatened by doctors and scientists? No, Joy, I don't think it was just that. I think it was worse than that, frankly. I think what they were saying was uh, they wanted to deny it. Politically, they didn't find it advantageous. So uh, they were going to deny the virus. And the doctors were inconvenient. And facts were inconvenient. And science was inconvenient. Because their political plan was to leave it to the states, uh, let the states handle it, which was bizarre to me. This is a national pandemic. How does the federal government not handle it? But leave it to the states. It was primarily Democratic states, if you remember early on. Blame the states. The president's position was going to be deny it because it was inconvenient. It could hurt the economy. And they were just, the, the doctors and the facts disrupted their political agenda, Joy. That's what it was all yeah. about. They wanted to lie right. to the American people. And the doctors were telling the truth. And that was the problem. Yeah. Well, because the doctors aren't political. They're just telling you what's out there and what you got to do. And coronavirus is now the third leading cause of death in America. Uh, and you say, and rightfully so, I think, but I'm going to ask you, you're holding you know who responsible for every death in New York from COVID. I, I'm going to say to you, why? I'm holding you know who responsible for every death in this country. First will be because That's he it. lied about it. He lied about yep. it from day one. They had that memo in January from a person named Peter Navarro mm -hmm. that said millions are going to die. They lied about it. 
And they knew that millions were going to get effect, infected and that hundreds of thousands were going to die. That's the first reason. Uh, the old book says, don't lie, right? Uh, second, uh, they were totally incompetent in what they did. He keeps talking about the China virus, China virus, China virus, and trying to demonize China. The virus did not come here from China. The virus came no, here didn't. from Europe because he wasn't paying attention, and the virus left China, went to Europe. January, February, March, we had three million people coming in from Europe, Italy, France, Spain. Mm -hmm. That's where the virus came from. And he never knew that, and he never said it. Uh, no, this is, a, this is all on his doorstep, and it still is, and the most obnoxious. Yeah. You, you know that 110,000 people more are going to die because you won't wear a mask and your yeah. own uh, neurosis keeps you from wearing a mask? All of your advisors say at least tell the American people, protect themselves. Uh, wear a mask mm -hmm. and you refuse? I mean, how? How crazy? Pretty crazy.